Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the black screen in OBS. So I'll start with the easiest solutions and along the way we'll give you more of the complicated solutions here and fixes. So make sure to stick until the end to really see if your problem's in there. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. As I said, I'll start with some more simpler solutions, but also ones that you should definitely keep in mind. The first one is as simple as an update. So if I minimalize OBS here and go down to search here, check for, as you can see right here, check for updates. This will simply bring you to the Windows update window and here you can click check for updates and see of course if you're in the latest version. Always important to check. And of course that your drivers are also up to date. Now I use a software right here called Armory Crate. And as you can see right here, if I'm in settings and I go to update center, here as you can see I can update. So the hardware that I have has some software here, of course, which are the drivers. In the update center, you can just make sure that you update just one or you just update all. And then here, of course, Armory create itself as well. So this is very important. This could play a role because not having a updated driver can give a lot of malfunctions, but it can be in a small corner, as I said, as updating something like this. Now, of course, OBS itself also needs an update. And so you can make sure that it's actually updated to the latest version, but they can also give you some problems in certain cases. So sometimes the newest update of OBS could also be an issue, but you can actually go back to a previous version and how you actually do that. And so actually go to Google here or any other search engine. And we're just going to type OBS here. Simple as that. Now I want to go to the first one right here, which is the obsproject.com. So make sure it's the official website. I'm going to click it. Go to download in the upper right corner here. And then here you can go to previous releases. As you can see here, you can see the changes that happened in 31.0.3, which is the latest version at the time of this recording of OBS. And here in GitHub, you can actually check. You have to scroll down for a bit though, for some other versions that might interest you more that you actually preferred over whatever the current version might be. So definitely check that out as well if you need to. Now I will go into OBS, but I will show you first something that you should do before launching OBS which is if you have the shortcut here on the desktop make sure you right click it go to properties here click advanced here and select run as administrator this will automatically every time you launch obs run it as administrator because this is a small problem that could definitely help and it's also advised even by the obs team itself says that it increases your performance so might as well do that and could help you in order to avoid getting the black screen so make sure you click ok then and then here you click apply now a second way of doing that if we stay here but go to the compatibility tab right here as you might see here run this program as an administrator same idea here you can just check that also make sure that this is unchecked you could potentially check this and check for another windows version but really generally speaking you do not need this it is better if you leave this one unchecked and then as you can see right here if you have this one checked same you can click apply here and now of course when we're in obs itself so so here first of all make sure that this little eye icon here right here is selected and this is what it looks like when it's unselected as you can see this means that you do not see whatever is playing right there it's going to be a black screen basically here so always make sure that you can actually see the little eye icon very important then what you can also make sure is that there's a priority so you can actually drag a source above the other one and then the other one will have a priority so if one is, for example, playing something here and the other one as well. So watch out for that because you're actually the main thing you want to record might actually be under another source right here, creating, for example, a black screen. If this source doesn't really work correctly, it might create a black screen. So make sure that the one that you want to record is always above to actually show that it actually also has a priority of the other sources right here. Same in case you're actually capturing your display, make sure that it's a display capture because you can also right click here, do art and do a window capture, but it's only going to be specifically for a window. And unless you're very sure of which window you want to record, this could actually cause a problem because that one specific window might be minimalized or off. And so you will have a black screen because you're only recording that one specific window. So that's in case when you're recording your screen, your whole screen, make sure that you do a display capture. Now talking about this click capture here, make sure that if you right click here and we actually add one, you can name it whatever you want, that you also select the right screen. So you might have multiple screens. So of course, definitely always make sure that you also have the right screen selected in case you have more. So of course here you can also make multiple scenes and so it's also very important is that the right scene is selected if i would click on this one right now as you can see the screen for you is probably black right now that's because i selected the wrong scene so make sure that in this case for example this first scene so make sure it's on this one something that could be in a small corner also in case if you're adding a game capture right here click ok make sure that you actually do capture specific window and then the window right here if you have a game running it should be in this drop down list and you should click it so of course make sure that in that case the game is running logically now if the game capture really doesn't work you can also add a new source once again do for example a window capture select the specific window of course which is the game in question but it has to be in windowed or windowed full screen so in the game in the graphics settings make sure that the game itself is actually in windowed mode windowed full screen because obs cannot always capture your screen when you're just in full screen in the game in question so make sure that obs first First of all in the first instance actually recognizes and shows your game of course in the preview window right here and now talking about the preview zone if i right click here make sure the right source is selected down here you can click on transform 
and you can actually do reset transform so that's in case you changed any of these red dots right here you can actually reset it to the what it originally was or you could do fit to screen so that basically means that it's obs automatically is going to put trying to put it in the middle fit it to the screen right here which is once again the preview zone so that you don't have to touch any of these corners right here and touch the preview zone yourself it should just fit to screen so that's two things that can actually help because sometimes you can minimize to right here and it's put to the side or something it's hidden somewhere and that can actually help to reset the transform or to actually fit the screen to get it actually back here in the middle so i'm going to show you that one last thing here so you can also do is do resize output source size now i can do this right now because i'm recording because so if you click on it and then you click yes it could once again help you to resize the size of the source in question so now if i actually go to the set things here i'm going to go all the way down to advanced i'm going to do process priority above here as you can see and you can put this at normal so normally it should be at normal if you have never touched this but otherwise you can put it to above normal or high this basically gives a priority to obs and the recording in question a bit of a priority over the other apps that are running one of them might be what you're actually of course want to record and so also make sure this is a quick thing i want to mention make sure you close anything that you don't need to record so like in a file explorer any files that are open any other windows apps that you're not using just close everything except of course obs and what you want to record it's a cpu of course I could also, of course, avoid encoding overloaded in case, but in any case, also helps OBS itself. In case of avoiding a black screen, it could help. So make sure that this here, you can also put it on above normal or high in case. Talking about priorities, if I minimize OBS once again here, and I'm going to right click here and go to Task Manager. You can also do Control Alt Delete and select Task Manager. And anyways, you can do this in two ways. You can actually go to the details right here. You can also just right click on OBS here and go to details. It's a bit quicker. And as you can see right here, it immediately found it here, the OBS64.exe. That's of course the application of OBS that is running. So I want to right click on it. I'm going to actually set another priority. So this time in Task Manager, so basically in Windows. And once again, you can have this on normal, but above normal is already a bit better and high and you have real time. So once again, make sure that you do this for uh, OBS by the way not of course like the game in question that might actually give more problems it's better if you only do that priority for OBS you can also of course test with the game and actually for the game you can put it a bit on normal or below normal in case but OBS itself of course definitely needs to have that set priority to above normal high or real time to really make sure that there is more focus more CPU going to the actual OBS recording now going down back here it's going to type settings here if you go to system here display and here you have the HDR. Now mine is not supported, but you can encase under use HDR option. That could be also a solution if you click on that. But I unfortunately can't show you that because I don't have it. Now we can actually go back here and this time type graphic settings. And as you can see, just make sure you add a desktop app here. You want to show them browse, you want to go to your local C. It's probably going to be in your local C. You're going to go to program files, OBS studio. You go to bin here, 64 bit. And then you click on OBS 64 right here, or you click on it and do odd. As you can see, it's odd is right here. You can do the little arrow. As you can see right here, the GPU preference is going to be the most important thing right here. So if you click this, you have three options. You have let Windows decide, which I don't advise you to do. Then you have the power savings. So in my case, it's my AMD Radeon graphics. It's going to be basically my CPU rather. And what it's going to be my GPU more is going to be, of course, my NVIDIA GeForce right here. My, so my graphics card. So in this case, of course, I want OBS to use my graphics card because it's going to give me the highest performance. But keep in mind, there are cases where you might want to use like your CPU. So an other components in your PC or laptop. But really, generally speaking, you have to go for the GPU to get the highest performance, obviously, because it's the GPU preference. And this also helps OBS, of course, immensely in order to get a better performance. And of course, in case, avoid that black screen. But there's going to be cases where you can consider this, so you can alternate between the two it might help. But really, in most cases, you should go for high performance. Now here, optimized for windowed games. You can leave this on. It's really optional. Or you can turn it off. It's really not going to change that much, to be honest. Now, when you have made those changes, though, be sure that you actually close OBS. And you go right here to Windows and you restart your computer. If you change to, for example, power saving or high performance, in case you change that, make sure you reset your computer. So very important. Close OBS and reset your computer afterwards. I want to give you away some last things to say here. Some programs or apps that are running could actually disturb your OBS recordings. So obviously, as I said before, it's best to have just the app in question running and OBS itself, of course, to record, but nothing else. But things like, for example, Armory Crate itself or an antivirus or any really other third party software could actually interrupt or mess with the recording. So once again, really just only have the things open that you require to record only the necessary programs, apps. And really, lastly, if you really haven't fixed it yet, you could have otherwise just completely, of course, disinstall OBS and reinstall it. Now, don't worry, people keep their settings. So just make sure you don't check settings, scenes, etc. that you want to delete them. If you disinstall that window, just make sure that you uncheck settings, scenes, etc. in the uninstall window, because otherwise it will be deleted. So just make sure it's unchecked and you'll be fine in case you really want to uninstall OBS here. You might actually also be able, of course, to ask a question to the OBS team on their website and contact them in case, really, it's needed. But anyways, guys, as I said, I really try to go over the most solutions, the most fixes for the OBS black screen. If you have any questions, you can, of course, leave them down below. In any case, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe, it would be really nice. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.